Hey, good morning. It is 9.51 a.m. Eastern Time, 11-13-2021, 4.51 and change, UTC. I'm going to show you the MFJ Max Matchmaker 212. This is what I use to tune my antennas. There is no carrier involved, no uh, TX output power. You never have to worry about stressing the finals on the radio, creating arcing. One, one thing I need to point out is that this tuner, this is not a tuner. This allows you to use your tuner, a manual tuner only. This will not work with an auto tuner because that requires a carrier. Okay, so this is if you have a manual tuner, this is carrierless tuning. No, no interference on the band, no QRM, no power being transmitted, and it will tune your antenna flat one-to-one. -one. This will not tune your antenna, but it will allow you to use your manual tuner to tune the antenna without a carrier, and it is brilliant. Hookups, uh, connections, you come out of this match, you come out of your transceiver into the matchmaker 212, out of the matchmaker into the tuner, and then from the tuner out of the tuner to your antenna. Now, if you're running an amplifier, do not place this after your amplifier. That's not going to end well if you accidentally key it. So remember, this goes between your transceiver and your tuner or your transceiver and amplifier. Okay. This does not go be after the amp ever. So that being said, don't make that mistake. So what you can do is if you have an amplifier, that's how it's set up. You come, you place it always directly after the transmitter, right? So if you're, if you're running an amp and a tuner, you come out of the MFJ matchmaker to your amplifier, amplifier to tuner, tuner to, to, to antenna. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to use this and what it actually does. There's three ways you can use this. You can use this via visual if you have a pan adapter you can use it audibly and you can use it via s meter reading on the front of the radio and i'm going to show you all of those okay and two of those will happen simultaneously the audible side and the visual side okay if you have a pan adapter it's the easy excuse me it's the easiest way to do it but it's not really necessary and I'll show you. So let me get over to the other screen. Okay, so what we've got is the 7300. So you can see the S meter. I'll bring the RF gain up. We have on the right, this is the MFJ matchmaker right there. The activate button turns it on and off. And as you'll notice, there will be no TX light. This radio will never go into TX except when I go to check it. Uh, I will show you whether it's tuned or not. Okay, so I'm going to find a clear frequency on the band. Let's go up here. Looks like this is clear. Well, maybe. I just don't want to create any uh, malicious interference and throw a carrier on someone talking. So, well, there's a carrier right there. So I'm going to slide up a little bit. What I'm going to do, you don't have to do this. You, you will never need to throw a carrier, but I'm just going to show you that it's tuned. Okay. So the first thing you want to do, I'm going to put this in the CW. You don't have to do this, but to hit it with a carrier, uh, CW tone, I'm going to actually key the rig and show you the uh, SWR right here and show you that it's actually tuned. Okay. So let me put it in CW. And when you look at the pan adapter right here, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it and I'm going to get the volume on so you can, you'll probably be able to hear it a little bit. Punch it. And I don't hear anything, so I'm going to, there it is. You hear that fluttering in the background? So that's the noise you're going to hear. Again, this is no carrier. This is no output. There is no drive level. This thing doesn't put out any power. There's no interference on the bands. So to tune it, what you do is you just roll your tuner and 
until you look for the dip. And you can hear the fluttering. Looks like there's a little wind outside. My antennas are getting knocked around in the loops. So you listen to hear the fluttering kind of disappear. Okay. So that's pretty much it right there. Tune on the dip. Notice how the spectrum, well, you can't really see the spectrum because it's covered up. But that's what you want to see. And when you listen, you notice that the uh, fluttering completely disappeared on the audio. That's the audio side of things. Okay, so what I'm going to do, what I want you to do is I want you to watch the S meter right here. So I'm going to pull it back out of tune. See the S meter? See, so you can see that. So you can tune this on your S meter. So when you hit this, you basically tune it until you get to a uh, zero noise. See how it's dropping? If you look at the pan adapter, boom. Tune on the dip if you've got a pan adapter. Go ahead and kick it out. And I'll set the drive level to, oh, 20 watts. And I will go ahead and hit it quick. And here's the SWR meter on the 7300. So I'll punch it. There you go. Flat SWR. That's how you, that's how it works. So that's it. Uh, very handy, handy tool, handy device for tuning your antennas without stressing the radio or creating QRM, uh, dealing with arcing. Uh, anything like that. It is protected, so if, and I've done it many times, I accidentally key it without shutting it off, and, and even if you're running 100 watts, it's still safe. I wouldn't do it, I wouldn't just transmit through it while it's, while it's active, but it is protected. It, it says up to 300 watts, but I just try to be careful. All right, thanks for watching 7.3, and we'll catch, catch you all soon, hopefully on the bands.